The moment he's doing it, he thinks that he doesn't harm anyone. But he doesn't know that he himself is the victim. He doesn't know that he's falling into the downhill of addiction, a type of addiction which is far more dangerous than any other type. Because it's easily available and there's no restrictions for it. In addition, it has such an intense impact which is very difficult to remove it from the minds of those who are suffering it. This situation is widespread and no one is talking about it. Pornography goes in through the eyes, into the iris, and triggers a release of chemicals in your brain. Chemicals like dopamine, serotonin, epinephrine, and oxytocin. And these are natural chemicals that your body produces. These chemicals are needed. When you take hard drags or look at pornographic material, your brain is overloaded with these chemicals. After you keep looking at porn, your brain gets used to those high amounts and builds up the tolerance. The same images that once give you rush don't have the same effect anymore. In order to get that same rush, it not only takes more of it, but also takes a more hardcore version of it. Your brain becomes dependent on that rush of chemical and literally rewires itself to think that that's normal. And so you cannot function without it. That's called addiction. The same process happens with cocaine and heroin. We live in the ultimately shameless world today. The world in which streaming videos off of any website are mo available on your mobile device. The age in which the pornography industry is a multi-trillion dollar industry. The point of which, the agenda of which to, is to make sure every one of you is a consumer of filth in one way or another. That every man, woman and child is exposed to this stuff and they're hoping you are so you become addicted to it so you become yet another consumer. This is, this, is the, this is the gift of pornography to society. It's cr creating people, turning people into animals and perverts. And some of you unfortunately have that addiction. And you're watching this stuff online. And you're watching it and saving it on your apps and your mobile devices. And you don't feel bad about it anymore. You've justified it to yourself. And you feel bad about it once in a while, but you go back to it. And as a res you think, oh, well, I'm not, at least I'm not hurting anybody. At least I'm not doing it to anybody else. I'm just watching this stuff. It's okay, but you know what's happening to you? Inside your soul is being just gutted. You have no soul left inside of you. So your prayers are empty and you can't even shed a tear in your salat because your heart is so devoid of the fear of Allah because of the filth you've been watching all this time. It's turned you from a human being into an animal. So you can't even look, you, a woman passes by and you, look, you, you see a piece of flesh walking by. You don't see a human being walking by that deserves respect. You check everybody out and everything out. You're, you're constantly gawking and staring. You, can, you have a hard time putting your eyes down. When you're on the subway, when you're on campus, when you're at work, you're walking down the street, you know, you just can't help. You see a billboard, you look at you take a second look, you see a third look. You don't miss any opportunity to just to, to, to violate your soul with your eyes. You just, you're addicted completely. And then you say, brother, how do I get khushu' and salat? What world are you living in? What world are you living in? Ayuhal ikhwa, my brothers, specifically my brothers. And I know some sisters have this issue too. It's not a, it's a sad reality. This is a war. This is a war. This is more dangerous than any military war. This is the war that's destroying our souls. It's making its way into our homes. It's making its way, you know, if I, I want to protect my children from this stuff as much as possible. But when my child goes to school, and it doesn't matter if it's Islamic school, there's a very high statistical likelihood that someone, a friend, uh, with their iPod, with their mobile device, will say, hey, look at this. It's a, it's a very realistic, you know, a, a, a thing nowadays. It's not far-fetched. And so I have to prepare my children for the filthy world that they're, they're going to be brought up in. And there's no escape from this stuff anymore. There isn't. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. You have Islamic lectures followed up by, you know, those YouTube puts those follow-up clips. And something will be filthy. Something will have to be filthy. And I don't think that's by accident. I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist, but I'm not, I don't think that stuff is an accident. And what happens to you guys is you watch a video, you see something filthy, you click it, you click something else, you click something else, and you end up watching disgusting things.
From the ancient times till now, porn is being used by prostitutes and members of occult temples to worship incorporeal entities, meaning jinn and demons. When watching porn, one essentially enters into an altered and highly suggestible state of consciousness. The porn trigger it trance makes people wide open to demonic entities that feed off of sexual perversion, causing many people to be insatiable, addicted, aggressive, and depressive, and indulging in all manner of wickedness. Therefore, it's a means of summoning the demons. That's why most of the people who are exposed to pornography are being possessed by these entities. And today, by means of technology and internet, it became a very widespread ritual being done not only by the actors of this industry, but also by the viewers watching them. A type of global satanic ritual. A study on 2017 shows the annual trafficking of one of the largest porn websites. 28.5 billion visits per year, or an average 81 million visits per day. 25 billion searches performed in a year. That means 22 million searches per day, or 800 searches per second. Over 4 million videos have been uploaded on this website, which is equal to almost 600,000 hours of content. That means if a person was supposed to watch all of those content day and night without any break, it would take him 68 years to watch them all. The amount of data which is being transferred on this site reaches to 10.2 million GBs per day, 7,101 GBs per minute, or 118 GBs per second. That's enough data to fill the memory of every iPhone which is currently in use around the world. This was the statistics of only one website in a year. Now imagine there are over 4 million websites which produce such content. The largest group of internet porn users is youth, aging between 12 to 17 years old, and it's only 19% of all users. The average age of exposure to pornography is 11 years. 9 out of 10 youths aging between 8 to 16 years old have been exposed to pornography. Every second, 30,000 internet users are viewing pornography content. Recent statistics show that 30% of addicts are women, and the percentage is growing. They estimate the Scotland Yard based on, on the records that they have of pedof pedophile material on the internet. They, rec rec they reckon that there are 80 million children have been sexually abused. 80 million. Massive trauma to little children, innocent children. Human trafficking, 80% of it is for sex industry. This is, this is disgusting. This should make us vomit, but this is what's happening on our planet. Who is searching for sex? If you actually did it by the numbers related to the, this is done where they actually look at the numbers who have access to the internet based on the population sizes, we have Muslim countries that are outnumbering in their searches, even the United States, which is actually number one for downloads. What is happening on our planet? This is happening in Muslim countries. You're in denial if you deny this. There are people here who are probably, they have this tribulation.
Our Prophet said, إِذَا سَمِعَ أَحَدُكُمْ بِالدَّجَّالِ فَلْيَنَا عَنْهُ If one of you hears about the Dajjal, let him avoid the Dajjal. And then he said, فَإِنَّ أَحَدَكُمْ يَحْسِبُ أَنَّهُ مُؤْمِنٌ فَيَتْبَعُهُ بِمَا يُبْعَثُ بِهِ مِنَ الشَّهَوَاتِ This is in the Musnad of Imam Ahmed. He said, one of you will believe he's a believer, and then he'll go and he'll begin to follow him because of what he brings from all the appetites and desires. We have people addicted to these things. They're falling. اتخذ أرأيت الذي اتخذ إلهه هواه haven't you seen the one who took his desires as a God? If you're obeying these desires, you are making these desires your God. And Allah is a jealous God. Did it ever happen to you that right after watching such videos, you've said, it's enough. I must stop watching these videos. What I'm doing is wrong and I should stop it. If yes, you should know that you are not the only one facing such problem. But you are for sure better than most of those who don't blame themselves for committing that sin. The following steps inshallah will help you to stop watching those videos and start a new page in your life. If you are still not convinced, learn more about the dangerous effects of these videos on your brain, body, behavior, marriage and your entire life. And also try to imagine the amount of sin that you are depositing in your account in order to understand what you're doing is wrong and you need to stop this habit. Every time you feel weak, remember your strength and change the negative thoughts into positive. Check your current situation and try to answer these questions. Why I reached to this level? Which things are leading me to watch these videos? It helps you to know the root of the problem and deal with it accordingly. The moment you decide to repent, just do it and don't delay it for tomorrow or other days. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you get rid of this trap and lead you to freedom. Make your room clean by removing those videos and pictures from your computer, smartphone or any other device. Stop following any page which leads you to those videos. And stop the relationship with the friends who persuade you towards this trap. Never try to be alone. Throw your room's key away. If you use your computer, don't close the door. And plan out some activities for your free times. Because indolence and loneliness is the time when shaitan mostly comes in action. If you're still single, remember that these videos are the biggest reason for sexual impotency after marriage. But if you're married, you should know that the porn videos are the most important cause for marriage breakdown. Take care of your marriage, invest more time and enjoy being with your spouse. This will help you to have control on your lust. Try to eliminate those incentives which lead you to watching such videos. For example, do not turn on your computer when you don't need it, because unnecessary usage of your PC will again facilitate the opportunity for watching such videos. Decide to stop it yourself before you reach the edge of this trap. You should learn how to deal with the last cycles. A last cycle starts with minimum and reaches the peak and then decreases. The whole cycle takes less than 30 minutes. So the next time when you feel lust, just know that it will end up after minutes and you can overcome that. Don't fall in the temptation that you are strong and you can watch any video without it affecting you. This is one of the most dangerous reasons for returning to addiction. Never think that your children are too young for falling into such trap. Control their habits, check their activities every once in a while, 
and don't let them have smartphones in earlier ages. Every time when you forget all these steps, rewatch this video and also share it with your friends and help them with this problem. <laughs>